Are you looking to replace your oil, gas, propane, or electric resistance system to heat and cool your home? Are you thinking about buying a home, but you don't like the current heating source? And yes, we know you're probably thinking about oil. Let's talk about the New York State Clean Heat Rebate Program. But first things first, my name is Justin Simmons. I'm a licensed real estate professional in New York and Connecticut. And I'm happy to assist if you're looking to sell, buy, lease, or rent real estate, or are considering a career change into the real estate profession. My contact information is down below and I'm always happy to help. Now, back to this clean heat program. It's about heat pumps. Now you might be looking at me, Justin, what are heat pumps? What are you talking about? Great question. There are two basic kinds of heat pumps that are covered through this program. One is called air source, one is called ground source. Very brief overview of the differences between these two and how they actually work. Air source heat pumps. In the event that your house is cold, let's say it's the middle of the winter and you want to get heat into your home, an air source heat pump will pull heat from outside and deliver it into your home. And then when your home is hot, let's say it's summertime and you want to cool it down, it'll do the reverse. It'll pull the heat from inside your home and send it out into the atmosphere. Ground source does the same thing just with the ground. It pulls the heat from the ground into your house when your house is cold and you want to warm it up. And when your house is hot and you want to cool it down, it'll pull the heat out and send it into the ground. First benefit, heating and cooling. Heat pumps do both, whether it's air source or ground source. Second, efficiency. They're typically much more efficient to heat and or cool your home than oil, propane, or electric resistance, right? Save yourself some money over the years because we know we're always using our utilities and we always need to heat and cool our homes. Third thing, zone temperature control. So you can have a heat pump in your bedroom, you can have another one in another bedroom, you can have one in the living room, kitchen, basement. They don't all have to be on at the same time. One person who's in one bedroom says, hey, I'm a little chilly. They can turn on their heat pump and all the other ones in your house can be off. So instead of heating a whole floor or multiple floors at the same time, you can really customize it to the specific space that you want to heat or cool at a specific time. That also helps you save money. Four, they're typically cleaner and safer, right? There's no combustion of fossil fuels. There's no fuel storage to worry about. There's no carbon monoxide associated with using them. So that makes them a very clean and safe form of heating and cooling your home. Heat pumps also have the lowest carbon emission of any heating source. And the fifth thing, they're typically easier, usually a little maintenance. Also, you know, if you're like us with the AC window units, you don't have to put them in when it's hot and then struggle to take them out when it's cold. The heat pumps are there year round, so you don't have to worry about that part. You heard rebate before, and you might be wondering, wait, 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 what's going on with the money? Great question, <laughs> okay? So as of the recording of this video, because these rebates amounts will fluctuate over time, things are always changing. If you're talking about air source heat pumps, you may qualify for a rebate of up to $10,000, right? Now, if you're in what's known as a disadvantaged community, that amount goes up to $12,000. Up to, not guaranteed, okay? If we're talking about ground source heat pumps, your numbers are $35,000 for, in general, and $45,000 if you're in a disadvantaged community big numbers. Besides the rebate amounts, there's also tax benefits. We're talking tax credits and other incentives at the federal and state levels. So there's a breakdown in the link I provide down below, but quick overview if we're talking about air source heat pumps, it's up to 30% of the cost of the project or $2,000, whichever one is lower, then it's for the ground source heat pump, aka geothermal heat pumps, we're talking about 30% of the cost on the federal level as a tax credit. And if we're talking about hybrid water heaters, electric water heaters, you can go all electric here, folks. We're talking about another $2,000 in tax credits. There's also additional state incentives besides the rebate. So if you're thinking about getting greener, cleaner, more efficient, saving some money in the long haul here, 
you can take advantage of this wonderful program. And if you're looking at houses and not sure which one or like everything else about it except the heating source, yes, or we're talking about you again, because I know that's what most people are thinking. This is another program that you can look into to try and take advantage of. You will need to contact a contractor who participates in the rebate program, or you can have a contractor you know apply to your utility company to become our participating contractor. They're the ones who are gonna draw up the plans, get the work done, get the approval. They can also help you with applying for the rebate. Now we have the link down below with the, a list of approved contractors as well as the tax benefit information. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. But while you can take advantage of this program, green, clean, save some money, and hopefully be more comfortable in your home. Thank you so much. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.